You have seen me make these chlorine ampules beforehand and today I'm going to put one to the test. This one is made from poor quality pipette glass and I've actually never gotten one of the good ones to shatter. But yeah, enjoy. We're going to start with a drop test. Of course this was only about half a meter and the ampule survived. Even when dropped from higher up, it still survived. When dropped from the height of about 2.5 meters, it still survived, but the epoxy got some scratches. Next I dropped it from the balcony, which is about 5 meters high. Again, more scratches on the epoxy, but the ampule survived. Let's take it up a notch. I'm going to drop it from the third floor. Let's take a closer look and it looks like it survived. Quite some time ago I made an ampule from a normal test tube, with thin walls of course, and it was a big ampule. I embedded it in an epoxy and after putting it in hot water, it formed a tiny crack. I wanted to try this again, but with these ampules. This is poor quality glass, my normal ones are not made from poor quality glass, and actually made from thick borosilicate glass, but I thought if it's going to crack, it might happen with hot water. After two minutes, the ampule still had no cracks. I dropped it from the third floor two more times before attempting another test. This time I threw it on the floor with full force while it was still warm. I have tried throwing some of my high quality ampules on the floor before with full force and they didn't shatter, but this one did. Here's the aftermath. I couldn't find the other half. It's also interesting to see how small the ampule actually is. It looks massive because of the epoxy. Here's another one made from cheap quality glass, which I managed to pop inside of the epoxy. Over the course of three weeks, the chlorine reacted with the epoxy and nothing escaped. On the right, you can see a cheap ampule, which is not filled with pure chlorine, and on the left, one of my good ones made from thick borosilicate glass. 